is Wayne Diva Makeup Queen. I'm excited because it's the annual, my favorite time of the year, at the end of the year where I tell you my favorite top 10 drugstore products. What is the criteria to making it into my top 10? Well, first of all, of course, they have to be drugstore, they have to be affordable, they have to be lovable, like I have to love them. The first product that I think to me is the best drugstore foundation for me personally anyway. I didn't like it at first, but then after using it for a while, I love it. And I think it's CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. This foundation is great. It matches my skin tone perfectly. Um, it does not get oily. It lasts all day. Coverage is amazing. Um, does not dry you out. It performs fabulously. Um, for the summer and in the winter you just need to make sure that you have some cream put some cream on um, I just really really love this foundation it has a pump um, and it really does give you a flawless coverage so uh, kudos it does not make your pores go big or accentuate anything it's not cakey it blends beautifully and it stays put and it really does the job three in one. I give it to CoverGirl. Wonderful foundation. That's, to me, the drugstore foundation of the year. So, check it out, guys. Number two, BB cream. My favorite BB cream, I would say, is Pond's Luminous Finish BB cream. Um, this one's not talked that much. Um, I have the shade Light, and um, it has really really good coverage for BB cream. I always find that American BB cream ends up like sliding away on me after a while and also it's just really tinted moisturizer. This particular one it has good coverage and also it's got a slightly moussey feeling to it so it really does give you that flawless finish that you want so I highly recommend. Next up concealer. Okay this came out this year and I think it was pretty darn fabulous and CoverGirl they tried to copy this one this is the original one that came out this past year L'Oreal True Match um, this is a crayon corrector amazing I use it for everything and look I've been using it all year you can see it's no longer sharp anymore it comes sharp um, it's so good I use it for under eye I just draw like that and it blends out and or I use it for spots um, I think and or even like to highlight seriously uh, it blends so well it's so beautiful I would say that a lot of concealer they become very cakey and hard to blend or too thick and stuff like that this one you just blend and it disappears and then it covers what you need to cover and you can even use it to sort of cover the edges of your lipstick if you're like wearing uh, red lips and you want to just do a little bit of concealing, you can use that. And it has multiple colors, so I give it to L'Oreal. I think they did a fantastic job. It was the first of its kind that came out in the drugstore. So, very nice. Okay, number four. This is my favorite cream blush from the drugstore. And the reason why it's so awesome is because it's a cream blush that doesn't feel creamy. I know, it's funny. It feels more moussey. I guess I like moussey things rather than creamy things uh, because it just blends better to me. And this is uh, Flower Cosmetics and this one is called Winsome Rouge Sum. It's a beautiful color and, um, and the texture is amazing. You can find this at Walmart. Neat packaging too. And this particular color, it just blends so well and it just makes you look like you have a flush. See how that works? So it doesn't look like blush, you know, it's just like a little flush. So you can build it up. It's really, really nice. I recommend this. Number five, one of the best drugstore eyelid primer that came out this year. It's got to be Wet n Wild. Fergie collection. You can see how much I've used it because you can't even see the label anymore. It's all like worn out um, because I've brought this with me everywhere. This is a great dupe for like Urban Decay, Prime Potion, uh, or Too Faced Insurance. This one does the job fine. Sometimes uh, the 
content separates a little bit. You just make, need to make sure that you shake it. But um, yeah, it makes the shadows last long and has a slightly tacky feeling when you put it on. So it makes the shadows stick on very well. So great job, Wen Wow, for inventing eyelid primer. One of the first, I think, I've seen eyelid primer that came out this year. Or one of the more prominent ones, at the very least, in the drugstore. Now, uh, Milani has been famous for having their liquid eye. Okay, and that's the ones that used to be like you have to sharpen. This year they got brilliant and they decided to do a twist up one. And so I love this one. This is the brown one. And so you don't even have to twist it and try to sharpen it. You know, you just twist it up. It goes on so smooth and so easy to apply. Just make sure that you close the cap really well because this will dry up on you very quickly because it is called liquid eye so it dries this stuff does not smudge after it settles look at this does not smudge what did I tell ya this stuff is awesome yeah these go hand in hand together even though they're from two separate companies but they are sister companies so one came up with these first and the other came up with these later even more affordable the Milani ones are called Shadow Eyes with a Z and two of the colors are fabulous. One is called Almond Cream. Um, well, actually they have so many colors, it doesn't really matter. But this one is great because this is great as a base. You can use this, blend it out, and this stuff, let me tell you, will stay on forever. It will stay on your lid all day, okay? And this one is also great. This is a color... Cafe Olay. This might be limited edition, but look at this. And you know what else you can do with this, which is what I do? I use it as liner. I go like this, and I take a little brush, a slanted brush or angle brush, and I take it and align my eyes. Will not smudge, goes on your waterline. Or you can try to apply directly if you want to. It's great as a base or as a liner, both. The Jordana ones also are exactly the same, just repackaged. Well, not even repackaged, I mean just slightly different packaging. Um, and by the way, they are dupes of Urban Decay. I mean, exact dupes. If you want to check out my videos of how they're duped in terms of the color, some of them are exactly the same. And ingredients are the same. Please check out a couple of these videos I've put up um, right here. You will see that these are exact dupes. And uh, Jordana came up with a matte black one. How genius is this? Again, I can use it for both liner and a base. Boom. And it will not smudge on you. I'll show you in a minute. It says here 12 hour made to last. It will last for 12 hours. I joke you not. And this one right here is uh, Tenacious Brown by Jordana. Matte brown. Beautiful. Now, this is one of the best products in the drugstores, for a high end, anywhere in the world, hands down. You must get these babies. They're just incredible. Now, balm stains have been very popular. Um, Revlon came out with the first ones that really hit it big. Then it was Jordana, then Wetwell came out with some. But I must say, out of all the companies, my favorites have to be the Jordana ones, okay? Did I say Milani? I don't know, but Jordana ones, Jordana, Jordana, I don't know. I always say Jordana. Um, I love them for so many reasons. One of them is the affordability. It's just very affordable, number one. Number two, they were smart. When they came out with these colors, they are not exactly the same as the Revlon ones, okay? Some companies come out with the same colors. It's like, we don't need the same colors and I feel like the colors they came out with I have some of these here not all of them are pretty unique and different and also I feel like they do exactly the same job if not better than the Revlon ones they stay on your lips and all day and it stains your lips colors are vibrant and different and interesting like look at this pink right here it's like so out there and then you've got these beautiful mauve kind of colors, different kinds, different shades of pinks, different colors. I mean, it's, it's just awesome. It's twist up, okay? So you twist it up, and the idea is that because it's not all thick, 
you can use it sort of as a liner and also as a lipstick and also as a balm um, as a stain because it stays on and also balm because it has that shine now you do lose the shine after a few hours but then you just reapply it really is very wonderful and oh, maybe I should just swatch you one why not I'm in the habit of swatching so see how that it has this shine it's just so gorgeous smells nice and this color I have right here is called honey love beautiful color right and let me swatch it this one that is like so bright right this one is called tropical frenzy tropical frenzy so you can see that shine that goes on top really Milani Jordana they make wonderful products another amazing product that came out this year is the Rimmel show off lip lacquer or apocalypse as they're known in the UK um, these were exclusive, exclusively in Walgreens and I, I think they have now arrived in CVS. I've seen a lot of them in CVS. Um, they are fantastic. The coverage is amazing. Um, again, it's like one of those situations where it's like a stain and then also a lip gloss at the same time. So like multifunction lip products. Very opaque, very vibrant colors. Bless you, my sweetheart. Um, and their multitude of colors, multiple colors. Um, so I got some of these. I will swatch you a few. I don't know why I have not done a review on it, but I hope to. Look at how opaque it is. This is a nude color. And this one is called Phenomenon. So let me just random you swatch you another one. Maybe a bright one would be good. This is a really bright one. This one is called Apocalyptic. This is a seriously bright pink. Boom. Look at that. Right? Let's swatch one more. Why not since we're at it. Look at this red. It's ridiculous. It's called Big Bang. Big Bang. Oh, my arm is like no more room to swatch. My goodness. Look at So they have so many colors. And they go on. They really last for a long time. So... These are definitely my favorites. I love them. They're awesome. And then one of my favorite in terms of powder is Nearly Naked. Now, I by Revlon, yes. Now, I like the foundation too, but I think I like the powder even more. Um, it gives a really nice finish. It does not accentuate your pores like some powders can do. Um, and my all-time favorite is my Physician's Formula. Um, mineral powder and this one comes pretty close to second that one's all-time favorite this one is new product of the year and it's pretty darn good I recommend it so that concludes this edition this year's top 10 drugstore makeup I really hope that you enjoy it don't forget to stay tuned for January 2nd I'm gonna do my best of beauty 2013 which includes both drugstore and high-end and please don't forget to subscribe here, Diva Makeup Queen, and also on my vlog channel, which uh, I show a lot of um, makeup products. I do makeup on that channel as well with my boyfriend. We walk around shopping and looking at makeup and trying out things, doing um, like get ready with me and just watching things at Sephora, etc. So don't forget to subscribe to that channel, Wing is Fun. And I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and also Instagram if you guys want to chat. I'm always available, almost 24-7. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Can't wait to hear what you guys' favorites are, drugstore products for 2013. Please write below. I'd love to hear. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.